Hello everyone, this is the CRT Productions here, and in this video I'm going to be giving you a couple of quick tips on how to maximize the life of your CRT TV. Now of course, the main reason why people, some people still use their CRT TVs is because of the lifespan. These things will last forever, most people know that. Some people are just oblivious to it and want to use their latest and greatest technologies. Um, but I'm not going to get into that, of course. Don't get me started on that. I've got the perfect example, though, of these things la lasting forever. Right here, this old Magnavox TV that used to be owned by my grandmother. This thing here, the reason that I have it now, and because it was, um, because it was no longer used, was because the picture started to get dim. Um, that's a common sign of these things getting old. So, I knew that it still worked though. This thing, it was, um, it stopped using it a long time ago, around 2007. Um, and I knew that it still worked when I got it. I just got it recently, about a year ago, from her house. And, um,. I knew it still worked, but I knew that the picture was dim. I figured, uh, there's probably a little bit of life left in it. I was just, I just wanted to see what was going on there. And it turns out, nobody had ever touched these brightness controls, ever. They were still all in the middle, or any of the screen controls, I should say. Nobody had ever touched any of them. Get that thing out of the picture. All right. So. You can go and look at one of my other videos on, um, I'll link it either on the video or in the description somewhere, but, um, one way, if you have an old TV like this, to maximize the life of it is to adjust the, as I call it, the internal brightness control, the screen control inside the TV. You can just adjust that just a little bit, you can go watch that video, and, um, That'll uh, extend the life of it, kind of. Not really, it's really just depleting the life even more, but you'll get more time out of it without having to, you know, do anything too complicated. But with this TV, I just had to um, adjust the picture and brightness controls a little bit. I also tweaked that in internal control a little bit, but that was a pretty lucky find on my part with this TV. Now it works pretty good. It might not look good on the camera. Actually, it looks better on the camera than it does in real life. Anyway, it looks pretty good for what it's been through. And of course, you've got these newer TVs. And this is a point that I want to make in the video. If you have a newer TV, we'll forget about this one for a while. You have a newer TV like this one, silver plastic era, um, a newer one of course, for around 2005, 6, or 7, it's around when they stopped making them, 2008 maybe, but um, if you have a newer TV then this one's, you know, this one's seen the least amount of use and therefore has the best potential to be used far into the future. I know I'm getting into some kind of silly stuff here, but um, if you have a TV like this, I'd recommend you maybe do some of this stuff. And it's really simple what I'm going to say, of course. I'm going to say, go into your controls menu. This is something a lot of people don't think about. And just optimize your brightness settings. Most people, or a lot of people, have never even touched this stuff, but. Depending on where you have your TV, if you have it indoors, you don't really need the picture all that bright. If you have it in a kind of a dark room, um, I mean, CRT TV is not really that good for using outdoors in a bright setting in the first place, no matter what your settings are. I like the difference there in pictures. One of them's kind of sepia toned, and this one's black and white. I think this one's more accurate. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, that's um, that's really the biggest thing in my opinion as far as extending the life of your CRT 
CRT TV. Um, just kind of optimize that brightness and contrast control on your TV, depending on where you use it. I don't really use this TV that much right here, so I have the brightness settings kind of high on it, but you know, you can set them though, like I said, depending on where you have the TV. And um, the other thing, of course, is just an obvious one. It's ever important, ever more important with CRT TVs as opposed to other, other um, anything really, other display formats or electronics. Don't leave it on all the time. That's really the most important thing, obviously. Don't leave it on all the time. If you're going to be out of the room for a while, remember to turn your TV off. And it's ever more important with CRT TVs. And that's really about all I have to say. So, this is a six minute video. I meant for it to be a couple minutes long, but you know, I'm good at extending things on longer than they need to be. So, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. I have this TV over here. I don't know why. Um, I was going to say something about it. But, um, oh yeah. I'll try to keep this quick, but the reason I had this one over here is because this is a good example of a really low-end, cheap CRT TV, Magnavox. This thing's from 2000, as you can see. Unlike this one with the RCA inputs right there on the front, this one also has them on the back. Um, this one doesn't have any at all on the front or the back. It only has an RF input, kind of like the old um, 1986 TV has. So, if you have a TV like this one here, this low end, it doesn't really matter about it. That's basically what I was saying. So I made the point about this one, this newer one, the newest CRT, latest, the very latest CRT TVs you can get. If you have one, happen to have one like this, which a lot of people do. <coughs> Excuse me. A lot of people do. Um, I would recommend you adhere to these tips I've just given you. Try to get the most life out of it. Because these things won't be around forever, you know. They don't make them anymore. And Anyway, I'll go ahead and stop talking.